till that the brain releases so much dopamine during orgasms that a brain scan resembles that of someone on heroin. Okay but why does this sound like a heroin ad? I had a dream I did MDMA, and it felt like it did when I had done it years ago. Was my brain making dopamine in correlations to my dream? I have to get back into lucid dreaming. Edit, from some cursory research MDMA affects both serotonin and dopamine, but it's the serotonin that does the leg work as far as the feeling goes. I haven't had an orgasm in what feels like years. I'm glad I picked up heroin as a replacement. I feel like this is something anyone with a long-term pain slash permanent pain issue already knows. I have chronic pain. There are few things that actually make the pain stop, one being fucked up on anything strong, alcohol drugs, or having an orgasm. The problem is the pain relief from an orgasm is seconds. You can get drunk or fucked up enough to almost forget how much agony you are in for hours. I but who jerked off during a brain scan? Till that the brain releases so much dopamine while on heroin that it resembles that of someone having an orgasm. I get high on asterisk my own supply. This is actually an important plot point of the weird 80s new wave film Liquid Sky, where aliens kill people at the moment of orgasm, and then extract the dopamine from their brains. Available on Amazon Prime. Here's a little taste of its awesomeness. HTTPS colon slash slash you do b slash w v 0 p y g 1 g underscore i y t equals 52 edit just wanted to give a bit of a warning there are some very uncomfortable sex scenes in this movie the main character gets sexually assaulted constantly throughout the entire movie she even gets assaulted by the other main character whom she also plays no wonder why porn addiction is very common yeah but have they ever taken off ski boots after 8 hours on the slopes? So how are they administering these scans during orgasm? You're telling me I can quickly and stealthily inject my partner with heroin during sex and she wouldn't know the difference. Carrot slash S. For all the smokers of tobacco who can't seem to quit, a bunch of folks in the thread have mentioned it. Next time you get the flu or just a really bad cold or other upper respiratory ailment where a drag on a smoke makes you go into a coughing fit, just throw them away, you are already feeling sick as a dog anyway and probably whacked up on syrup and other stuff and essentially bedridden and sleeping 20 hours out of 24 anyway. Throw them out and wash all your sheets and linens. By the time you start to feel human again, in a week or so, you are over the worst of it and since you felt so shitty anyway, as you come out of it on the far side of the worst of the withdrawal symptoms, you actually equate quitting with feeling that much better and it's easier to hold the line next time you are out at a bar and get a face full of smoke and think, boy I want a cigarette and then your wiser voices speak up. No, you don't. Get some cinnamon oil extract and make toothpicks, chew on that. This is more of an ad for heroin, really. About 20 years ago I read an article about a high school football player who suffered a traumatic brain injury during a game. He woke up with the permanent mentality of a four-year-old. But the injury also put pressure on the nerves that produce dopamine. So every waking moment he's got dopamine racing through his system. He's in a constant state of near euphoria. The journalist who went to visit him said that the entire time she was there, he just walked around playing with his toys and happily singing to himself. She asked his mother if he was like that all the time and she said yes. She managed to stop him long enough to ask him if he remembered what it was like before the accident. He said yes. She asked him if he would like to go back to the way it was before or stay the way it is after. He said before. Then he went back to singing and playing with his toys. Whenever I read about the body producing dopamine I think about this story. I spent years trying to find the article digitally as I originally read it in the Los Angeles Times newspaper. Haven't found it, but it's out there nonetheless if anyone can find it. Honestly my takeaway is that it explains why people do heroin. Inspiration for the amazing film, Liquid Sky. HTTPS colon slash slash en Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash liquid backslash underscore sky, https colon slash slash en. 
Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash liquid underscore sky. Johan reveals that the alien is extracting the endorphins, https colon slash slash en. Wikipedia, org slash wiki slash endorphin, produced by the brain when an orgasm occurs. Margaret survives because she never experiences an orgasm. Margaret finally learns of the aliens from Johan, whom she stabs to death, something Sylvia witnesses through a telescope. Seeing the alien craft leaving, Margaret injects herself with heroin to induce a wild autoerotic orgasm to ensure the aliens take her with them. Sylvia and Catherine arrive at the apartment together and reach the penthouse in time to see Margaret vaporized by the aliens. I had heard of a test where lab rats had a neural implant of sorts that when they pressed a button it simulated, or triggered I guess, an orgasm response. The mice then began to press the button so frequently that they ceased eating and continued to repeat the behavior until they starved to death. Always found it interesting. This isn't accurate for several reasons. 1. Opioids don't release dopamine directly and the amount they produce is moderate compared to the modulation of mu and inhibition of GABA receptors. There's a bunch of orgasm hormones like oxytocin and GABA which are either entirely separate or altogether the opposite of the effects of opioids. 3. A brain scan doesn't show neurotransmitter levels. 4. Even if it did, brain scans wildly differ from person to person let alone opioid vs midsex. This is nonsense, or, to be fair, it's oversimplified to the point of meaningless. The scan reveals that the pleasure center lights up, a profoundly oversimplification in its own right, but more importantly, if everything that lights up your pleasure center were the same as heroin, then a good nose picking and a crack pipe fever dream would be the same thing too. Is this an ad for heroin? Well, guess I have to do heroin now. Thanks a lot Reddit. I guess that's why heroin addicts end up having to take bigger doses to enjoy the high. A lot like sex with most people, eventually the orgasm can become boring without increasing the intensity and adding more fantasies and fetish. What happens if you combine the two? That's why you don't touch heroin, ever. I used to do some work for a guy who did heroin, he would shoot that shit into his veins and become a corpse for 12 hours. If I wanted to rip him off it would have been the easiest thing in the world. Everybody talks about going cold turkey, Henry had said, but before you get there, you gotta go cool turkey. As a former heroin addict, for, it is nothing similar. Heroin is like being wrapped in a warm blanket radiating from your stomach that just tells you all is well and right in the world. Nothing else matters. Meth, on the other hand, is literally an orgasm, when you inject it. It made me jizz in my pants when I shot up the first time. Meth is the drug that delivers more dopamine than anything else. So if you add up the dopamine from all these things, cocaine, heroin, amphetamines, sex, and eating, meth alone releases more dopamine than all of those things added together. Wow, not only is sex literally the reason we're all here, but it also feels objectively and amazingly good. Man, good thing we decided to riddle the activity with a bunch of arbitrary social taboos and focus on promoting violence instead. Recovering addict here. I can confirm, at least for myself, that substance use was always way more pleasurable than anything else. That being said, if you think you have a problem with substance use please ask for help, the other side is amazing. If you scan my brain, you'll find that the amount of dopamine release every week due to jerking off would be equivalent to supplying a small drug addicted town.